What's going down? We're about to ride a boat. We're gonna go on a boat, we're gonna see some <laughs> It's gonna be fun, and he's gonna throw up. <laughs> what more could you ask for than that? Whipping across the teal blue waters of the Persian Gulf at breakneck speeds, the constant fear of calamity filling our every thought. <laughs> One of the best things about travel is doing things on a whim. So that's what we're doing right here, right now. That was fun. Yeah, but we got more left. Loading up on a yellow raft, blasting by the skyscrapers, posing in front of the world's only seven-star hotel. Forget those other Dubai tourist attractions. We've got something new and unique for you in this episode of Window Seat. As you probably know, there are a million memorable things to do in Dubai. Go to the top of the tallest building in the world, check. It's three times as high as the Eiffel Tower, about twice as high as the Empire State Building, and it is awe-inspiring. I loved it. My pal Sean was scared to death. I'm not conquered anything. I'm just looking down and I'm scared as hell right now. Go to the top of the Dubai frame, check. Yeah, we're 48 stories above the desert floor here in the United Arab Emirates, the top of the frame. I loved it. My pal Sean was scared to death. This is absolutely horrible. It's just scary. Yeah, I can't do that. Head out to the desert and blast across the sand dunes in a luxury SUV. Check. Sean loved it. I was a little petrified. I know. As long yeah. as you kept going, you weren't getting you stuck. Go to the old souks downtown and do some bartering. This is it's organic. Okay, I think we both like this one. Ride the monorail out to Atlantis and take in the sights. Check. Both like that. And stand on the beach at Jumeirah as the sun goes down over the Persian Gulf, watching the sky turn from light to dark behind the world's largest Ferris wheel. Check. Very cool, no matter who you are. But as we walked the canals beneath the skyscrapers of Dubai Marina, we saw something new, something that struck our fancy, something we absolutely had to be a part of, the yellow boats. They call them boats, but from all appearances, they're little more than glorified rafts. Bit of background here, the boats give you guided tours at high speeds of all the cool things to see oceanfront here. From the man-made islands to that fancy hotel that I mentioned, the Burj Al Arab to Atlantis, an hour and a half on the boat costs about 70 bucks per person, and we are here for it. The first part is what I call the grandma portion of the ride. No offense to grannies out there, but this part does not exactly compare to a roller coaster. It's a leisurely stroll through the concrete canyons of this uber modern city to appreciate all the architecture. And there is a lot to appreciate. That is the, that is the guide gives us a few instructions and before long, That driver opens up that throttle and we are cutting through the waves like a cigarette boat on Miami Vice. Only thing missing are Crockett and Tubbs, and kids ask your parents who Crockett and Tubbs are. All the while, we're cruising past the man-made islands that dot the coastline, starting with Palm Jumeirah, a cluster of artificial islands which, if you look at them from the sky, is quite literally designed to look like a palm tree. The real reason they keep building fake islands here? The valuable shoreline it creates. Palm Jumeirah alone added 250 miles of pricey shoreline, just waiting for homeowners and developers to snatch up. Pretty soon, we're out in the open waters of the Persian Gulf, which is especially rocky on this day because of the stiff winds threatening to send us careening overboard. Thankfully, that hasn't happened. <laughs> Everywhere we look, there are new reminders of how poor we are and how rich everyone else seems to be. Luxury yachts that would be the envy of Russian oligarchs, high-rises that seem to rise higher and higher into the sky with each passing mile. One word of warning here, you will get a constant stream of sea spray in your face, and depending on the rockiness of the water, you could be sitting in a pool of Persian Gulf water on your bench by the time it's all said and done. Small price to pay, though. Oh, and depending on the length of the hair of the person in front of you, you might get whipped in the face by tufts of ginger. But again, all part of the experience, and none of it will wipe the grin off your face. Or at least we hope that's the case. One woman behind us was clearly not having a good time at all. Hope she's okay. Pretty soon we reach our final destination on the trip, the rich waters of the Gulf, located right in front of the world's richest hotel. We all take time to pose for a picture in front of the Burj Al Arab because for us at least, this is the closest we will ever get to the world's only seven-star hotel. Located atop a man-made island jutting into the gulf, it's designed to look like the sail on a sailboat. 
the hotel beckons the rich and famous with its bespoke luxury. I mean, they have a pillow menu so you can get the perfect night's sleep. They have six in-house florists. The interiors are gilded, 24 karat gold. It's home to the largest Swarovski crystal ceiling in the world with 21,000 crystals. The dramatic helipad has been the site of stunt after stunt from Tiger Woods teeing off up here in 2004 to Andre Agassi and Roger Federer playing a game of tennis in the air. It's amazing if you can afford the place. The cheapest room we found online is about 1700 bucks US per night for a basic room and it goes up to nearly $25,000 a night for a suite. Where is the second engine sir, okay? Only one engine we use. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, out here on the rocky waters, this is as close as our wallets will allow us to get. Uh, what did you think? That was fun. But we got more left. <laughs> Lots of time left. Having taken in the sights, it's time to putter back to shore and take in just what we've experienced. The ride now turning far more calm as we check out more of the buildings, islands, and businesses that have turned Dubai into a thriving metropolis of more than 3.3 million people. When you're far right, yeah, that's the Atlantis Hotel. A far cry from the tiny fishing village that sat here just a few decades ago. And while we slowly make our way back to the Dubai Marina, we get another look at those modern skyscrapers that jut into the Emirati air. Having thoroughly enjoyed every moment of this, even if others on board did not. The girl sitting behind us clearly didn't like rough waters. But why are you getting on a speedboat if you don't like rough waters? This is not a cruise ship. This is not a pontoon boat. It's going to happen. Honestly, at first, I didn't know if she was crying or laughing. Like, it seemed like she was having fun. And then I heard these shrieks of misery. And uh, and then I heard what I thought sounded like crying. And then I heard them say she was upset. And then we stopped for the first time and she's hurling over the side of the boat. Did she puke? She was definitely washing her mouth out with water and spitting out in the water. Oh, yes. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So awesome ride, really fun. I would say this, they don't warn you ahead of time that it might give you a little nausea. And on a windy day, it is bumpy as hell out there on the Persian Gulf. So, you're gonna do it. Be ready and maybe bring some Pepto <laughs> or whatever you take. Just enjoy the ride. Yeah, just let loose and enjoy the ride. Yes. It's fun as hell. Yes, absolutely. Right. What do you think? Have you taken the Yellow Boat Tour? What did we leave out? Let us know in the comments below. Also hit like and share if you'd be so kind so we can share our travels as we journey all around the world. We're trying to hit every country on the planet and we're well over 70 countries so far. And be sure to hit subscribe if you'd be so kind. That's it for this episode of Window Seat. We're back with another episode next Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. In the meantime, be sure to check out one of these other episodes from Window Seat.